Hi everybody, Honda Pro Jason here, and welcome to my Tips and Tricks 2013 Honda CRV. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the tips and tricks that you won't find in the brochure or on anyone else's YouTube channel. I'm going to start you guys out by explaining what the acronym CRV stands for. CRV stands for Comfortable Runabout Vehicle. Now into the tips and tricks. Let's start in the rear of the vehicle. All cars with leather come with this accessory cargo cover. Really nice to cover some of the things on the inside. Now on the CRV, both these back seats come down with these nice little handles here. But what a lot of people don't know is what do you do with this cargo cover with the seats down? It's obviously in the way. Let me show you this. It is removable and storable. Locks right into place there. So now it's out of the way and you can fill it all the way to the top. Now let's take a look at some of the things on the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2013 Honda CRV. A lot of the tips I'm going to be showing you today have to do with the Honda iMid display. So let's get a close up so I can show you exactly what we're talking about. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the Bluetooth connectivity. Very, very simple. All you have to do is press the phone button. Say yes, I'd like to add a new phone. Put your phone in discovery mode and press OK. Now what it's doing is it's searching for a Bluetooth phone. Very, very simple. While it's doing that, what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to operate the iMid display. There's a top button here that will change the display. And the bottom is going to show you the menu to get into all the cool customization I'm going to show you guys how to use. Take a look at the screen. It's found the iPhone that we're using, which is Matt's iPhone. Thank you, Matt, very much for letting me use your phone and for filming all of my shows. Go ahead and press select. When I look at my phone, I'm going to put four zeros in. I'll press pair. And folks, that's all there is to it. The system is already paired and ready to go. Now, let's get into some cool stuff. Using this display, you can change it from the clock to our music. Pandora happens to be playing right now. Average fuel mileage. And back to a screen that if we had pictures, you could display pictures here. Let's get into the menu. Very simple, guys. Adjusting the clock is just this easy. There you go. I just saved everyone two hours. Congratulations, and you're welcome. Customization settings. These are awesome. Display setup. You can change all your wallpaper from here. The car can accept pictures in JPEG or bitmap. It will not take them from an iPhone or a phone, so please just put them on a USB drive. You can import all your wallpaper. You can delete wallpaper. You go into your trip meter item to display and your welcome screen. The welcome screen is going to come on every time you start the car. Does that bother you? No problem. Shut it off. It's just that easy. Color theme, a lot of people ask about this in all my other videos, blue, red, amber, gray, whatever you guys are looking for, whatever your mood is, you can set it. Back into the screen here, let's go into some more customized settings. Let's go into the lighting setup. This is pretty cool. You can set your interior lighting time. What that means is how long is the light going to stay in the car after you leave the car? Your headlight auto off timer. Again, how long are those lights going to stay on? after you shut the car off. Light sensitivity. Do you want your auto on headlights to go on every time you go under a bridge? Or would you rather get real dark before they go on? You can adjust that right here also. Door setup. Honda makes it so simple. Auto door lock, auto door unlock. So when you put the car into park, when you shift from park, how do you want those doors to lock and unlock? Do you want just the driver's door to unlock, or do you want all the doors to unlock when you shift the car to park? These are the types of things you can do in door setup. Lighting setup, door setup, default. You make a mistake, no problem. Just go back to default. Now what I haven't shown you guys, inside the trip setup, this is pretty cool. There's a fuel efficiency backlight. What that is, is around the odometer, around the speedometer, there's a green light that tells you when you're driving the most efficiently. Sometimes that green light can get annoying. 
Honda allows you just to shut it right off. Now, let's get into some of the cool radio features. Now here's some tips and tricks about the radio functionality. When scanning through the stations, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually press the select button and go through them manually. Pressing the auxiliary button will get you right to the Bluetooth, which means you can stream any music you'd like from Slacker Radio to your iPod to Pandora. Speaking of Pandora, since we're plugged in through the USB port, Pandora not only will work flawlessly here, but also will show you album art and all the information about the stations. If you'd like to press the select button, you can pick up a station list. You can like or dislike songs. Resume pause, skip, bookmark songs and artists, just like you would on your computer or on your phone. Now keep in mind that whenever a phone call comes through, it will automatically pause your music and pick up right where you left off. Now let's get into some other cool stuff. Stuff like Siri. A lot of you might know already that Honda has announced that they're going to start integrating Siri into the vehicles. But for now, when you press the Siri button on your phone, where's the nearest gas station? Here are 12 gas stations fairly close to you. The nearest is Gas City. Now that's coming right through the speakers of the car. Would you like to you can do turn by turn directions, you can do whatever you'd like, and fully full Siri compatibility. So check this out. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Some bad weather coming up tomorrow. Down to minus zero degrees and snowing. Welcome to Chicago. I'm not sure if you guys caught that or not, but Siri said it was going to be minus zero tomorrow. Minus zero? Thanks, Siri. The last thing I want to cover is some connectivity with the Bluetooth and the text messaging feature. Check this one out. With text messaging, the system will not only show you the text messages if you're in park, but also read them to you if you're driving. You simply have to press the connected device here where it says show notifications, simply turn that on. And like I said, as long as you're driving, the car will automatically read it back to you. And if you're in park, you can actually read the screen. Now, right now, that's only gonna work for text messages, but we've been promised that that'll go through email, Twitter, and Facebook messages soon. So that concludes my tips and tricks on the 2013 CRV. Make sure you guys check out all my other tips and tricks videos. If you guys really love Honda, I have a weekly show. It's all Honda news. It's out every Monday. Make sure you tune into it right here on YouTube. I'm going to give you guys a couple links here to subscribe. On my weekly show, I have giveaways, much like this hoodie I'm wearing. Click one of these subscribe buttons, and you guys can win stuff like this. This is Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.